In Project Zomboid, you have a choice between guns and melee weapons, and I guess your feet, but like, no. If you run into the wrong zombie, you might actually turn them on instead of killing them, and that's just weird. But anyways, you have a choice. Go in loud and deadly, or go in quiet and slightly less deadly. And some of you may be saying, but oh, Spoodle, why not just use guns and melee weapons? And in response, I will say, Shut the hell up, you mouth breather, and watch the damn video. But in all seriousness, I like to pick occupations and traits based on if I'll mostly use melee weapons or guns for that character, so I usually focus on one or the other instead of using both. This makes me much more effective at killing with that weapon type, and it's just the way I want to play. So let's get started with the pros and cons of each. Starting with melee weapons, the main pro is that they're silent, and using them does not attract a lot of zombies compared to guns. And you can use them basically forever, because unlike guns, they don't require ammo to use, and most melee weapons are easy to repair once they've been broken. And for the final pro, they are just incredibly common. Melee weapons are everywhere. You can find them in kitchens, warehouses, janitor closets, and if I'm being honest, I'm almost certain that at least 90% of all buildings in the game have at least one melee weapon inside. Now obviously the better melee weapons are going to be harder to find, but like, duh. Oh, and one more final pro, they are very easy to level up compared to guns. For guns, you need ammo, and you're most likely going to miss most of your shots until you get to a higher level, so yeah. With a melee weapon, you just go, ooh, zombie, I'ma smack it, and boom, you level up. Okay, last, last pro for melee weapons, I promise. You can craft them. That's it. Now for the cons. First con is you gotta get up close and personal to kill these dudes. And that puts you in danger, especially if you're dealing with a horde. With melee weapons, you can only hit one zombie at a time, unless you use multi-hit, like a loser. So dealing with hordes is a lot more difficult. Next, using melee weapons uses stamina, and if you spend all day smacking zombies around with your big stick, wait. If you spend all day killing zombies with melee weapons, you're gonna get tired, and the more fatigue you get, the less damage you'll do to zombies, and the higher your chances of becoming a zombie chef soup are. And honestly, that's about it for cons for melee weapons, so let's move on to guns. Alright, so we got a decent amount of pros for guns. First, you can kill from distance. A big con for melee weapons is the danger of getting close and personal, and guns don't have that issue. You can just stand at a safe distance and pick off zombies until you're content. Another big pro for guns is their ability to clear hordes. Not only can you do this at a safe distance, but you can do it much faster, especially if you have a shotgun. I gotta say, there's nothing more satisfying than mowing down a group of zombies with a shotgun or automatic rifle. <laughs> yes, 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 die, 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 yes, yes. <laughs> I might need help. For our next pro, you can actually use the noise from guns to your advantage. Many people think of the noise as a con, and it can be, but it can also be a pro. Use the noise from your gun to move a large horde in a certain direction and sneak around to avoid a fight. Now this is a little bitch boy strat, but if you don't feel like murdering zombies for some reason, this can be a good alternative. And last pro is you don't get fatigued while shooting, so you can keep on shooting until you run out of ammo or your gun breaks. And now for cons. First, they are loud as fuck. Earlier I said this can also be a pro, but if you're just trying to clear a horde, the loud sound can end up attracting more zombies, and soon you'll end up having the entire zombified state of Kentucky eating your ass. Figuratively, but also very, very literally. Next con is your ammo is finite. Finding ammo in Kentucky isn't super hard because it's Kentucky, but it also isn't nearly as easy as finding melee weapons. And I can almost guarantee that there are always going to be more zombies than bullets. Well, at least in this game. In real life, I think there actually are more bullets than people, but whatever. So until we gain the ability to craft ammo, this is going to be an issue for our gun lovers. And although this is Kentucky and guns are not incredibly rare, they are still more difficult to get than melee weapons. Not because they're hard to find, but because they're hard to get to. Most guns will be locked away in a police station or gun store behind a locked metal door. And I can tell you from experience that those are hard as hell to break into. And for our final con, your accuracy is going to suck at the beginning. Unless you pick specific occupations and perks, your aim is going to be shit until you level it up. And to level up your accuracy, you gotta hit your shots so it can become a pain in the ass. Now you can counteract this by using a shotgun, and if you're missing shotgun shots at point blank range, well, then you might as well just hop on heyday, cause Jesus Christ, man. So this isn't a huge con because of a good amount of kills with a shotgun, it will start hitting your shots with any gun, but for the early game, this is a con. Alright, and now to answer the big question, which should you be using? Well, let's see. We have 5 pros and 3 cons for melee weapons, and 4 pros and 4 cons for guns. So as it stands, the melee weapons have 2 more pros than cons, while the guns are equal of pros and cons. Welp, you heard it here first, folks. Throw away all your guns and ammo, they are completely useless and the devs might as well just delete them from the game. Melee weapons are the only way. Obviously, I'm joking, but in all seriousness, this isn't a video where I tell you to choose melee weapons over guns. Well, I mean, it kinda is, but not really. Obviously, you can use guns along with melee weapons. I'm not gonna pop into your game and murder you for not picking one or the other. Well, at least until I figure out how to do that. But for those who want to focus on one or the other, hopefully this video helped you in deciding. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in the next one.